video i'm going to explain a feature of s3 which we call it amazon s3 application replication means whatever data you are uploading to your source bucket that data would be available in destination bucket for this i would be creating two buckets in my account s3 account let's create a bucket and give it a name source test cloud and i'm going to create this bucket in aws region which is ap south one mumbai and i'm not going to change any properties the purpose is to explain you replication only let's create a bucket the same way i'm going to create one destination bucket create bucket and give it this name and just instead of source i'm writing destination test cloud same region asia pacific mumbai ap south one rest of the settings will remain same and let's create a bucket done now i do have two buckets one is source bucket and one is destination bucket so now what will happen is i will be uploading a document to source bucket and that document will be available to destination bucket also for this you have to do certain settings let's do it go to your source test cloud bucket and click on management then click on replication rules create a replication rule first you have to enable your bucket versioning on source and destination so it is asking you to enable it so i'm saying let's enable the bucket versioning and rule i'm just calling it test rule status would be enabled source bucket in my case is source test cloud which is part of asia pacific ap south one whether you want to apply this rule to certain folders or filters you want to apply in my case i am going to apply this changes to all objects in the bucket it is asking you now destination you can choose the bucket in this account also also you can choose the bucket from another account so in my case i am choosing a bucket in my account but if you say i have another account where i want to replicate a data you will choose this option and it will ask you account id of another aws account so i am not going to work with another account as of now i am just going to work with same account then bucket name you have to provide click on browse s3 browser button and give a destination test cloud here and click on choose path now it is saying you that replication for replication versioning should be enabled but for the destination bucket it is not enabled so you can do one thing while creation while creation of buckets you can enable this feature otherwise it will ask you forcefully from this window itself so enable bucket versioning then it will ask you which im role you want to use in case you have existing role you can go with im role existing im role but in um, in my case i am saying create a new role whether you whatever replicate objects you want in another aws bucket you want to replicate that objects using aws kms or no i am saying no as of now you want to change the storage class for the replicated objects i am saying no additional replication options i am not going to change anything let's just call it save it will ask you whether you want to replicate existing objects or not in case you say you want to replicate existing objects it will open the window of batch operations i am going to create a separate video on that i am going to create a separate video on that so i am saying no do not replicate existing objects just submit it says your replication configuration successfully updated now let me go back to buckets and add a document in this source test cloud same document should be available to the destination test cloud also so in one window let me call, open it destination test cloud here it is and in one window i have source test cloud click on upload upload a document uh, in my case i have one document test lp open this document and click on upload done after few seconds or after few moments you will see the same document is available in the destination test cloud so let's wait aws claims aws claims that it might take 15 minute of time but in most of the scenarios it is being replicated in few seconds only let's refresh not at this moment of time no document let's wait for another 20 25 seconds now you can see your document right 
so it is automatically get replicated in another bucket so it takes time sometimes it takes time but aws claims that it can take up to 15 minute of time but generally it happened in a second so just in one or max by two minutes most of the time so stay tuned guys i will be creating a lot of videos on s3 itself so stay tuned please like and subscribe if you really like my video